crucial exception behind the Wednesday wind down one was to bring business to the, to the downtown, to shine spotlight on our downtown, to bring people to our city, and to bring um, tourism. And it, it has really done, it, was, it has done what it was designed to do. Our business increase for downtown has went up 15%. So the, so the interest in opening up a business downtown has really sparked. You know, East Point was a, a quiet city basically for retired people, but now people are saying, oh wow, I didn't know East Point had nice homes. I didn't know that their downtown was like this. So now people are actually considering coming to East Point. And that was the whole idea for the Wednesday Wind Down, is to bring the people and the business to the city. After the first show, which started in May of 2018, people were, were really happy. So we, we, it continued and then we closed out and then the interest sparked more people. When is it coming back? When is it coming back? Things come together when you work together and this is a great event and we are uh, glad to have Goody Mob come home and perform in the great city of Woo! East Point. To bring Goody Mob back home was something so powerful because one, they talked about East Point. Two, they grew up in East Point. One of the members, um, Big Gip, actually grew up in, in East Point, went to Dotson Drive Elementary, which is now the Fulton Leadership Academy, went to Paul D. West, went to Russell High School, which is now Tri-City. So to bring them back and to honor them was, to me, was epic. And not many know that the, uh, one of the original dungeon house was, happened to be on the low. I mean, the buzz is out there. It, it, the, the buzz is out there about the Wednesday wind down. There's no point like East Point.